to make a quick video here to show you, you guys an OS2 swap harness set of CTSV. Um, so basically this has the E67 computer in there. It has three plugs, a blue plug, a black plug, and a gray plug. The blue plug gets completely taken out of the harness. There's nothing attached to it. The engine from the harness, this is all to the body. Then we have these two plugs which have some wires coming out of them. They go to the body rather than to the the rest of the engine. And then one thing I separated out was the the backup lamp from the transmission plug. This is the main relay and reverse lockout. Never mind. Um so we got here. Got the starter wire, which is a big purple wire in my case. And then green wire, which is the AC clutch. Oh, this is backup lamp, sorry. It's this green wire, that's the AC clutch. That plug right here and the AC clutches, I took it out of the ECM because I have no idea how to actually make it run off the ECM. But the black wire is grounded to the engine. And the green wire is just a 12 volt signal to the clutch. And then we have the rest of the plugs running like this. And I can explain it in a later part of this video how to actually make it start the engine. Just gotta order yourself a little fuse box like this. I chose a six relay, six fuse. So one more thing I forgot to mention was along with side with the fuse box that I buy is just a little 10 slot fuse box with an indicator, it's waterproof. Has fast downs on the back. As I, I also purchased an OBD port. Just a little, came with a bunch of pins on it. You just crimp the pins, put them in there. Again, that's in the schematic. And I also purchased the throttle cable. Because in order to plug into here, you need a disconnector. Which in my case, the junkyard engine didn't come with one. So I just used the scrap wire. Which I put in everything in the bin that I took out. Scrap wire. Just pinned it. Left a pigtail on and ordered a waterproof connector to go between the body and the engine bay. Relatively easy to install. It's all labeled again in the schematic that I have. Which you guys can find down below. Another thing that I ordered was a 10 pack of this wiring loom harness tape. It's just like it feels like cloth. It's what they use on the factory loom. So, things like this, you know. And here's that waterproof connector as well, just so you guys can see what it's like. It's just six, between one and seven pins you can order them on Amazon. Pretty cheap. You know, like a couple of bucks, so they're definitely worth it. And they, you can just unscrew this blue part and then it'll... This part goes into the body and this part goes onto the engine and you just plug this right in. It's really nice. So a quick trick I want to show you guys. You'll see that I have a bunch of wires. Like this one for instance. Labeled reverse lockout, 10 amps main relay feed. There's a main relay that gets activated by the ECM to power on all this. All these engine accessories and transmission accessories in this case. So what I'm going to do is basically just run it through this fuse box. Plug it into the output side of it, which is this side. Unplug these 
this side into the actual main relay, which will be inside of this fuse box. It doesn't have to be too big because you don't really draw 40 amps continuously from it. And then what I'll do is I'll find every single one of these wires that go to the main relay. And you can do this with every single relay, like ignition relay, starter relay. Is you, you find all the wires that go to that relay, you grab some yellow tape, you mark them so you can easily find them all. And then you can plug them all in. You don't miss a wire or two there, so you don't have trouble shooting there for an hour.